In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, very quickly use the MoGraph random effector and the MoGraph delay effector to create a motion like this. The text styling, unfortunately, is going to be left up to you. So go ahead, open up a scene where you've got some text, and make sure that you're using a MoGraph text object, which you can get from the MoGraph menu. So go to MoGraph uh, text object and use that. The first thing we want to do is randomize the position of our letters. We're going to do that by first selecting our letters to tell MoGraph that this is what we care about. Then go to the MoGraph menu and choose Random Effector. What the Random Effector does is it takes the positions of all of our letters and individually moves them around randomly. So if we click on our Random Effector and then click on the Effector tab, we can see that we can adjust the strength of the random effect. The higher the strength value, the more uh, the letters are moved. At a strength of zero, the letters are back in their home places. So leave strength at 100% and go to the, your parameter tab. And notice that you've got some options here. You can turn on scale to also randomly scale your letters, rotation to randomly rotate them. But for now, let's just leave position on. I'm going to turn off X and Y so that the movement only happens up and down and so that the letters don't intersect with each other. And I'm going to increase the Z setting here to 500 which gives me letters that come all the way out to my camera. Now in my Effector tab, I'm going to very uh, quickly just animate this effect. So at frame 0, I'm going to set Strength to 100% and hit Record. And then at frame 20, I'm going to set Strength to 0% and hit Record. At frame 60, I'm going to set strength to 0% again, hold down my control key and click to record, and then go to frame 80 and set my strength to 100%, hold down my control key, click to record. So now when I press play, my animation looks something like this. Now notice that we're getting a little bit of wobble in the middle here, and that's because Cinema 4D is interpolating between our strength value keyframes and sometimes overshooting and overlapping. Now I don't actually want that, so I'm going to go into my animation layout, which I can do by pressing and holding on this button and selecting animation. And I'm going to select my keyframes. So right here in my timeline I see my random effector. I can just click and drag a box around my keys to select them. And I'm going to activate the clamp option. What that does is it prevents my keys from overshooting. So now when I press play, I get this. Notice that it locks into place and then moves again. Now I do want to bring back some of that overlap, but I want it to seem more organic. And so I'm going to use the delay effector to add a spring effect. I'm going to pause my animation, go back to the beginning, select my text object so that MoGraph again knows this is the object I care about. I'm going to go to the MoGraph pull down and select delay effector. This adds another effector to my scene, and I'm going to change the mode here from Blend to Spring. So now when I press Play, I get this. You notice a very slight wobble as the text lands in position. If you increase the strength to something like 75, the wobble becomes a little bit more noticeable. 85, even more so. But as you get up to numbers like 100%, the delay is so great that your text never quite lands. So it'd be, uh, let's play around with these values until you get something you like. Uh, for me, I guess 90% is a pretty good one. That's the basics of how you use the random and delay effectors to create animation.